Hi, ladies. I'm here with Sister Maria, who is filming. Hi, Sister Maria. Hi. And I want to reveal the room plan for this, this semester. And maybe more importantly, I want to share the rationale for why I've placed people where I place them. Because I'm concerned that people might think, oh, he moved me there because my old roommate hates me. And I think that you'll see a really beautiful, organic, and easy way in which all of this just unfolded that's going to let everybody's hearts reside in peace. So here is a diagram. This is upstairs. We have Angela and Catherine in this room, Nicole and Teen in this room, and Maria and little Diggy in that room. And then downstairs, we've got Laura and Clarissa, Kiki and Cynthia, the storage room, and then McKenna and Natalie in the long room. And Cynthia is moving out. And so the first thing that I ask myself is, what is Kiki going to do? Because Kiki wants a roommate. And so I started at the top and here upstairs, Catherine would like to have a single. She's introverted and would like a, a, a peaceful, solitary place uh, where she can have a sanctuary. And so Angela would also like a roommate. So I thought an initial pairing would be Kiki, Kiki, and Angela. And Catherine would have a single. Then also looking upstairs, we've got Maria and Kristen. I thought that these two could be divided up and also put people in their own spaces. So out of the two of them, I think this there's a vacant space here in what's presently the storage room. So I thought we'd put Maria here. And I think Kristen's got more possessions, so the plan is to put her to have her stay in this room, moving of less stuff. And then also upstairs, Teen and Nicole. Nicole would like to, if possible, have a single. And how could we make that happen? Um, looking downstairs, this room is a little bit strange in that it's not very big, and it's probably the size of for a good single. And Clarissa's got her stuff in the storage room, and maybe other people do too. So Clarissa's already kind of living in and out of this world. What would happen if we put Nicole here? Well, one thing that would happen would be Laura and Clarissa, a happy roommate pairing, would have to get split up somehow. Um, but without Without Nicole, I hear Teen saying, Kaka! Kaka! Because she wants someone to come up and, and be with her. So if I put Clarissa upstairs, then where would Laura go? Well, maybe Laura could come down and join McKenna and Natalie in the long room, which would then effectively give. Nicole a single. However, Kiki's room is, let's just say, intimate. And I don't know how intimate Kiki and Angela would like to be. Uh, so what if they got a bigger room? So I thought, let's take Angela and Kiki and give them the choice of having this room, where Catherine and Angela presently are, or this room, the room where where Maria and Kristen live. And I talked to them today and didn't give them the whole plan, but said, which room would you rather be in? And they decided that they would rather be in this room. Now, both Catherine and Kristen would have probably preferred to stay upstairs. So they're kind of both in the same predicament. Um, I gave them the chance to see if one of them would want, would just choose to go downstairs, but they both would prefer upstairs. So they're in the same situation. Kiki and Angela chose to go upstairs. They're going to go into this room. And 
so the edge will be here. Catherine would be downstairs. Larissa and Teen. Teen would stay in her room. Kristen would stay in her room. Nicole would move into Laura and Clarissa's room. Maria would turn this into a bedroom. And the three amigas would move, would welcome Laura into the long room. So this completes the diagram of what the housing is going to look like. And there was much rejoicing. God bless you all.